Welcome back to Math Time, boys and girls. All right, so we have been working on remembering what the equal sign is. Remember, the equal sign is like a balance. Whatever we put on one side of the balance, what do we have to do on the other side? It has to be the same amount on the other side, just like that to equal it out. If I were to add one more to that side, what would I have to do on my left side? I would have to add one more to my left side. What if I take two away from my left side? What do I have to do to my right side? I have to take two away. Good. I hope you understand what the equal sign means, okay? It's very important in math. Now we are going to start to talk about the plus sign. Have you, I'm sure you've seen this before. All right, so the plus sign is when we put groups together. All right, so I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going to put my equal sign above my equal sign where the circles are. Do you see that? All right, so adding, adding is when we take two groups and we put them together. So if I were to have four here, and I were to add two to that. All right, let's see if I can find the numbers. I have a two, and I have a four. So what that means is I'm going to take my four, and I'm going to add to it the two. So I'm going to take my two groups and I'm going to put them together. So four and two make six. Now look, I have my equal sign. So if I have six on this side, what do I have to have on that side? Six, right. And then I can find my number six. Do you see that, boys and girls? So if I have six on one side, I have to have six on the other side. All right, let's try to figure out some problems. All right, I am going to put three in that spot and five in this spot. Now I'm going to count out how many belong for each number. So I'm gonna put three frogs in that circle and how many need to go in this circle? Five, right, so five. And I'm adding them together, so I'm putting them together. So three and five make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes eight. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight and eight. They're equal. So I added a group of three and a group of five together, and that made eight. Let's try another problem. Let's try two and three. Okay, can you put those on your mats? Can you find those numbers? Okay, now let's start counting. I have two for one group and three for my other group. And now I'm adding them together, so I'm putting them together. How many do I have all together? I have two, three, four, five. So what I have on one side of my equal sign, I have to have on the other side. So two plus three equals five. Did you get that? Let's do another practice. Let's take seven. Can you find your number seven? And let's do one. Okay, so let's count out seven first. Two, four, six, and one more is seven. Did you see I counted by twos? Two, four, six, 
seven. Yeah, you can count different ways, not just by ones. All right, so I have seven, and I'm going to add to it one. Seven and one, seven plus one makes, I'm sure you can do that one in your head. If I have seven and I give one more, how many is that going to be? You're right, that's eight. And then I'm going to make sure that what I have on one side, I have on the other side. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. All right, so boys and girls at home, I want you to take your number cards and I want you just to keep doing problems like this on your mat. So you can take, you can just flip over a card, six, and three. So I would count out six, count out three, add them together, and then find what six and three equal. Okay? Because whatever six and three together are, that's what has to be on our other side of our equal sign. Okay? When you are finished that, you've practiced lots. Boys and girls, you can do this page. And that page is just some counting, just for some practice. Then you can do these adding. So here, you just have to count the dots. So I can see this is two. Do I have to count that two? No. So I can go two and then count on three. So two plus one is three. What I also want you to do is I want you to take your pencil and I want you to write the numbers underneath. So two plus one equals three. Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna count how many dots are here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can write the number eight there. Eight plus two. Eight plus two equals. And so now I can go eight. I know this is eight. I don't have to count it again. Eight, nine, 10. Right? Then you can write the number 10 here. And for this, what I want you to do is I want you to draw the dots. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? And I want to see the same thing for the side too. All right? 1, 2, 3. Okay? To show that 3 has an amount. 3 is 3. 10, it's not just a number. It's an amount. Okay. When you're done that, you can also go over to the next page. Okay, And here, I want you to draw your dots. So here I'm going to draw eight dots. Okay, And two dots. And then eight plus two equals ten. And I'm going to draw the dots. Okay. And then for this one, three dots, and then I'm going to draw six dots. Okay, and you can even put your plus sign in there and your equal sign. All right, so three plus six, so three, I don't have to count that, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I can write the number. Okay, I hope that this adding makes sense. Have a good day, boys and girls.